I can be nervous and I can do hard things. Hello, welcome to a work week in my life. We're starting on a Sunday and I just got out from work actually. So I guess like partway through the work week. I guess it's been a while since I've done my little spiel. Hello, I'm Anna. I'm a social worker in LMSW working in a incarcerated setting with youth doing mental health with them. And I've been providing extra help at an extra facility on the weekends since like last July. So it's like extra help that has lasted for just about as long as I've been working there. And actually two weeks from now is my last weekend at that facility. And then I'll be back to just doing like my regular hours at my regular facility, theoretically. I feel like I've heard a couple times that it was like ending that my extra help wasn't needed anymore and then I still am here giving it so I guess I'll believe it when I see it but theoretically two weekends from now is my last weekend over there but yeah today I was just training a new employee there which the perks of that is the fact that like she's been doing the work so she knows how to do it which means that like I didn't really have to do anything today like I was there as a support and like if she needed questions or anything like that I was there but like I didn't really have to do anything which is kind of nice I'm very excited for today because I have my silent book club tonight which I've come to really really love and like really love the people who come to and so I've been like looking forward to our meeting today happening. It feels like it's been forever, even though it's really been like two weeks. I'll head inside though. I'm gonna try to be purposeful about vlogging throughout each day through this week as we do it, or this like few days. I don't know if this is a week or a few days, or if it's today. I guess you probably know more than I do at this point based on the title, but I'll be purposeful about vlogging because I think in the past couple ones, I've just been like checking in in the car looking like this after work. So I'm gonna try to get better. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I But club was really good. Like I'd said, I've been like looking forward to it and didn't disappoint. I got further in my book, which is actually a very good book. And also just got to talk to people who I've been slowly getting to know over the past few months. But since then I got home and Zach made nachos, but our paths, we were like, what's that? Two ships in the night. Cause he just went to a friend's to watch the Super Bowl. Happy Super Bowl to those who celebrate. Happy Rihanna concert to those who celebrate. <laughs> but I really just chilled tonight, which I've really been trying to soak in the opportunities that I've been getting to rest. And I think that's been showed a little bit in the like kind of slower weeks vlogs that have been happening and slower days vlogs and just like not being as jam packed. So I've got some like small works, small to do's done on the computer. And now I'm waiting. I'm gonna pick Zach up because like I said, he went to a friend's house and so I'm gonna drive him home. But there are still six minutes left in the game, which in football time can mean a long time. And so I think I'm just gonna like lay and read, I guess, until Zach lets me know that he's ready to get picked up. Tomorrow for work, I'm already like, I'm not dreading it, but like, I already know that there are five assessments on our like to-do list, five new intake assessments, and I'm pretty sure three of them need to be done tomorrow, and then the next two are due the next day, so like, it would be beneficial if they could get done tomorrow, but I mean, I only work Monday, I don't work Tuesday, so whatever doesn't get done Monday is no longer on me. And I've learned that I work best if I just assume that like I'm doing all the work, because then worst case scenario, it's like what I already expect, and like I do all of the work, but obviously like I'm not the only one who works 
works there and so it does get divvied up between people and so I don't know of the three to five how many new intake assessments I'll actually be doing but I do know that it'll probably be at least two that I'm doing tomorrow which is like fine like it's not I keep telling myself like it's not the biggest deal in the world to work but I just feel like specifically assessments like biopsychosocial assessments are just a lot of work and are like draining and typing up and everything and it just feels like a big mountain to get over and it's never that bad to get over it like i have a template to type it up it doesn't actually take that long there's just something about it though that like i think that's the most time consuming thing that i do and then i also have two counseling sessions that i have planned for tomorrow and so what honestly probably is going to happen is that since assessments are like time restricted like they have a deadline there's a chance that those counseling sessions will get pushed to a future day of the week we'll just have to see but it's like the fact that going into tomorrow i know that there's quite a bit for me to do my memory card just filled up so i had to delete some things and come back and i don't remember what i was saying you want to come with me whenever we go pick up zach we can do that i'll see you when the super bowl is over and when we're going on our little nighttime jaunt i am actually off the hook for pickup duty so <laughs> now i'm headed to sleep <laughs> see you in the morning okay deep breaths because even if there's a lot of work to do today it can still be a great day right? <laughs> I think whenever I get in there, I'll have a clock ticking of two hours that I have to complete an entire biopsychosocial, like seeing the kid, collateral information, typing it up, consulting, putting it in, all of that. I think I'll have two hours and that's only if the kid is even available at that time. So I'm going to be going in there. I'm going to be sprinting and I'll let you know how it goes if I make it through the day. Oh, I'm sorry, are you looking at the social worker who completed her entire to-do list today with time to spare? Yes. Yes, you are. As I mentioned, there was an assessment that I had two hours ticking on the clock to do, and I completed it with about 30 minutes to spare, and that means doing an entire biopsychosocial interview. That means, since I work with children, well, youth, teens, that means calling a parent for collateral information. That means typing everything up. That means consulting with my supervisor. And that means entering everything into the system. I did it all. And then I did it all again for one that was due at 3 p.m. So I had like more time to complete that one. But I mean, if we're doing pats on the back, I want a pat on the back for each one of those. I also, I had just one session that I ended up doing today and it was really good. We did a guided meditation together because that's something that I found it's tough to get buy-in for mindfulness exercises with my clients but once the buy-in is there it is so effective like mindfulness and guided med oh I should have been here the whole time I've been blinded by the sun guided meditation mindfulness progressive muscle relaxation deep breathing all of that is so successful and so it's always fun to me to see someone kind of discover a skill that they like because obviously like, with everything I just mentioned some people like you know one technique better than another or different parts of a certain meditation better than another. And so it's cool to see people find the ones that like really work for them and evidence-based. But I'm feeling good that I got everything done. Feeling excited about that, for sure. So where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs I can hardly explain to you how well rested I feel this morning. It's a Tuesday, which is the first of my off days, which I'm so super pumped for, but I slept like a baby last night and I feel like it's been a second since I just had one of those beautiful restful sleeps so I feel like you can probably even tell the change in my mood that I'm just feeling wonderful what's nice about the upcoming two days off like Tuesday and Wednesday today I have absolutely nothing planned which is beautiful so I think I'm gonna take some time to read maybe maybe go get a little coffee drink later or a little like matcha drink later depending on what we're feeling and ultimately just take time to you know relax recharge as I've been doing so much of lately and then tomorrow it's going to be different and this is something I didn't mention at the beginning of the video because I didn't originally know if I was going to make it into its own separate day vlog or include it in this one but I think I'm going to include it in this one tomorrow well number one I have a dentist appointment which is exciting because that's been a goal like I'm way overdue but it's not the big deal and then in the afternoon I have a job fair that I'm going to and that is the anxiety <laughs> inducing part of it. I don't necessarily feel anxious and stressed about it right now. And I think I've improved on kind of my mindset 
with anxiety and being able to combat anxious thoughts, you know, by reminding myself that like there's nothing so terribly awful that can happen to me at the job fair, but it obviously just is like going out of the comfort zone to talk to new people, to, you know, potentially find out more about possible new job opportunity type deal. And so I do expect that I will be anxious tomorrow. So I'm really going to try to like enjoy today, enjoy resting today. And so that whatever anxiety comes, I'm going to try not to let it like flood today and tomorrow and maybe just like keep it bound to tomorrow. But that's kind of what's going on, how I'm feeling right now. I guess that's also like a little bit of news since I didn't mention it in the beginning of the video. So I mean all good things, but I guess this could be a monumental video depending on how everything goes tomorrow. <laughs> You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling Super high chance that there's not any tables open at my coffee shop since it's like lunchtime basically but they had a valentine's menu that came out and so today's valentine's day and i have a little birthday reward from them that i haven't used yet and so i figured you know good treat for the day if they do have a table open i think i'll sit and read a little bit i'm doing a reading vlog and if they don't have a table i think i'll try to find somewhere like outside i can sit whether that means going back closer to my apartment or if there's like a park nearby or something like that because it's one of those not necessarily warm but like 55 60 degree days that's really sunny and i feel like in the middle of february it's the days that all of a sudden you find yourself driving and you're like oh the seasonal depression is gone <laughs> so i want to soak that up <laughs> while it's here but on their valentine's menu i noticed that they had a berry matcha latte so it's like the regular matcha latte and then it said flavored with fresh berries and their vanilla syrup which doesn't sound like it would go together like berry matcha but i had a peppermint matcha that i didn't think necessarily would be that good and it was really good and i mean i guess i should trust the matcha connoisseurs <laughs> Maybe it'll be pink. That'll be cool. Perfect, thank you. There was a seat outside that was open whenever I was walking up, but by the time my drink was ready, it was taken. So I'll just find somewhere else to sit. The pour was a little short whenever he like first did it. So he was like, do you want me to steam up some more almond milk and put it in there for you? I was like, honestly, like no big deal. That's not like, it was like that much under the top of the cup. And he was like, are you sure? Like, I'm going to feel bad about it all day if I don't. So I was like, sure, you can, you can steam up more almond milk to pour it in. And that's what that little video was of him pouring it in. Like, Is that good? Yes, that's good. Not me stopping the whole video before tasting my drink. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it stinks that that's so good because like where in my regular life am I gonna be able to get a berry matcha? That's so good. <laughs> I ended up not even using the birthday reward that I like went to that coffee shop for because it's it's ten dollars free or like ten dollars off your order, but it all has to be used at once. And my drink ended up being only four fifty, which that was like a huge matcha. So I don't know how that was four fifty. Maybe it was like a Valentine's Day deal. I really have no idea. But I was like, I'm not gonna use less than half of my birthday reward, so I'm just gonna save it for a future day, I guess, because still valid. Right now, I'm pretending that Dove chocolate is gonna be pre workout. <laughs> before I go to the gym. Yesterday, whenever I worked out, I ended up just um, walking on the treadmill and reading because that's really just what I was feeling and I really wanted to finish the book that I was reading. And so it was both that physical self-care and mental self-care. But I do want to like catch up kind of on the one that I missed from the Sydney Cummings program that I'm doing. So I have a 30 minute glute workout that I'll do today.
And the package that just got delivered, that's what that would have been. Yeah, I just got a text that it was delivered. <laughs> Not the anxiety of hearing a knock on the door. Gosh, 30 minute glutes, that was going to be yesterday. And then today's that I'll try to also do, I'll put them all in my Google calendar so I can like keep up, see what's going on. Today's is a 40 minute arms and abs. So we'll see what of that I accomplish and whatever I do accomplish of it is good. I sat and did some like YouTube planning because it's been a while since I've done that. Just kind of seeing what the schedule looks like upcoming and like what, you know, weekly vlogs or like days in the life vlogs schedule I want to do, as well as seeing what like scripted planned content I can work into the posting schedule. I know I usually, I guess I used to say this more often than I have recently, but if there's ever anything that you want to see like more or less of, definitely let me know that. It's not a promise that like I will make that video, but it is good to know like what is wanted to be seen because then we can try to meet that balance of like, yeah, I put out videos that I like to make and that like bring me joy, but also the goal then is that they bring something to the people that watch them as well. So it's always really helpful just to get feedback. Obviously, hopefully politely. It's fine if you're not polite. I'll only cry a little bit, but... <laughs> But there have been quite a few new subscribers recently, so if that's one of you, hello. And it's just nice, like, as the numbers grow, to be able to, like, put faces to the numbers, you know, and, like, know. Oh, in this little community we have over here on this channel, who's here? What do you want to see? What parts do you benefit from? What brings you joy that maybe I can bring into your day, like, in a video? Anything like that. Let's go get that package. I forgot I was recording, so it <laughs> startled me for a second. I got several Amazon gift cards for Christmas, though, and I finally this week sat down and, like, made an order of things that, I don't know, I thought would be either, like, good to have or that I've been wanting, and I was glad most of them are able to come in one box on Friday, like the, what's that, day shipping, whenever they, like, combine all the orders together, but this one... I guess couldn't. I'm gonna do this tonight, but I just got new like dermaplaning razors, which is when you like remove the little like peach fuzz and like dead skin from your face. And I'm glad that they came today because I think that'll be good to do tonight, like just as a self care type thing in prep for, you know, my big day tomorrow. I can't decide if there's other prep things I should do. Like, I don't know. Like, cause I don't, I don't know. Like, if I go tomorrow, will it be like an interview type thing? Like, should I kind of practice, you know, talking about like, my strengths or if they say like oh who are you like having an elevator pitch because it's been a while since I've done that and I feel like sometimes I can wing it but also winging it for job interviews that I like really want <laughs> maybe doesn't seem like the smartest decision I'll go work out because that's the way that I can take care of myself that I can do right now and keep trying to push off the stress of tomorrow into tomorrow <laughs> instead of today <laughs> I'm calling today my do hard things day since I have both the dentist appointment and the job fair but the good news of that is that I just got out of my dentist appointment and everything went well I was like feeling so much anxiety just about my teeth and like the dentist in general not necessarily the act of going but the fact that it had been so long since I've gone and whenever I put it on like my February goals because like going to the dentist was one of my 2023 goals like it was that big of a deal but I decided I was gonna focus on it on February and whenever I decided that it was like a yeah, but I'm sure it's not gonna happen because finding a new dentist, I don't know, it's like a stress inducing, but this one worked out well and no concerns, no cavities. They said I'm doing really good. Only concern is teeth grinding, but what you gonna do? You know, besides wear my little thick retainer. <laughs> so hopefully the next hard thing today, the job fair will be a similar type of deal where it's like, oh no, stressful leading up to it, but then it ends up being really good. Hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed. Just waiting for love, waiting for love, try to forget about Okay, we have about 25 minutes before I leave for the job fair, and I believe that I already know what I'm wearing. 
So <laughs> I think I'm gonna do black shirt, blazer, and these pants, and then like nude heels, which is fancier than I would usually dress up, but you know, you always wanna be overdressed rather than underdressed whenever it comes to like job interviews, anything like that. The only thing that might throw this off is if these pants always run a little bit tight and I've been lifting heavier and so if I um, don't fit in them well then I am willing to change them but I do really like them they're like the nice maroon color they're from Express but I got them thrifted and then as you may be able to notice maybe you took notice of it I did like I didn't do like a blowout because I don't actually know how to do that but I like dampened my hair and then blew it dry today just so it would be more straight and then actually I guess I'm gonna have to take this out anyways to put my shirt on. I used to do this a lot just for the vibes. No, it just gives like a little more volume up here and then you can see it just like a little, a little flouncy on the sides but let's get dressed. I just went upstairs to get a folder to put my resumes in and the last time that I must have used this folder was for whenever I was going to a job fair last March, so like 11 months ago for the job that I currently have now. I'm attending a little job fair. Look, this is my folder. I printed out my resume. Um, I maybe should have gotten several copies of it, but yeah, that is fine. I don't know if you can see, but do you notice the upgrade? We went from Anna Schull to Anna Schull LMSW. They said to bring three copies of your resume, so I'm bringing six. <laughs> I'll just carry this little folder around with me. I think I'll just stick my license in the folder and that way I don't have to bring anything else. I guess I'll have my keys. I can just carry those, that's fine. Whew, I am nervous, I am nervous. But it's kind of just like the anxiety of like not knowing who I'm gonna talk to, like what they're gonna wanna talk about, what it's gonna be like. I don't know where to park, I don't know where to walk when I get there. So it's just kind of like all of those things adding up, making it be like, kind of nerve wracking. I have been kind of practicing like the elevator pitch type deal and just like kind of thinking in my head like some answers to some questions that are commonly asked if they ask them. I really don't know what to expect. Like I don't know on their end if this is a job fair to just like get to know people and then like maybe follow up in the future for an interview or if this is like type of job fair where they'll actually be like wanting to interview while they're there. When I went to the one last year, last March, it was one that they were doing job offers on the spot, but also it was a little bit different because since I interned with the same people like above me as where I'm currently working, I knew that I was going to get the job. It was more just like deciding if I wanted it or if I wanted to look other places. So like the person that I interviewed with, I already knew and like had been basically supervising me for eight months at that point, nine months at that point. So it's like, I kind of know how these things go, but also my experience last time was definitely skewed compared to my experience this time. But they had us like pre-register and everything, so I think like they'll know who's coming. I should not leave yet because if I leave right now, I'm gonna get there like 10 minutes before it begins and it's like open house type deal. So I think I'm gonna try to like sit on the couch and watch TikToks to make the time pass. But today's my doing hard things day, so we're doing hard things. I'm trying to think if there's like any <laughs> Anything else I should push into today? No, I think dentist and job fair is enough. That's enough for one day. I can do hard things. I've done hard things before. I can be nervous and I can do hard things. I have confidence in myself and in my abilities. And I can do hard things. I'm obviously going to like wait and not, you know, there's a delay on any job news. How about that? Until like I have an offer and I'm starting a new job. So even though I'm very willing to talk about like the fact that I went to a job fair, I'm not gonna reflect too much on like the actual progression of various jobs other than just like, oh, the places I've applied, you know, that kind of deal. However, just like reflection on the job fair itself is that I feel like it went really well. I feel like I really connected with the person that I was talking with and it kind of, it got me, see, this is the issue. It got me even more excited about the potential job, which then it's like, oh, so it's gonna hurt a little bit more if I don't get it. <laughs> but I mean, it's always good to feel excited about things. And so, I don't know, something that I always try to work with, with my clients is managing potential future disappointments, but trying not to let the management of potential future disappointments keep me from feeling like hope and excitement right now. It's a hard balance. It's really a hard balance. And it's always a little bit funny too, like whenever that's something that I address so much in counseling as a counselor, but then like it obviously is very applicable to my life too. So I'm trying to let myself be happy and excited while also knowing that 
you know, there's always the potential for future disappointments. But overall, I just feel like really, I don't know, glad, happy, thankful to myself for doing hard things, <laughs> for <laughs> going to the job fair, you know, talking to people, making a resume, trying to take steps that are different in life. Like I'm proud of myself for that. And so I want to acknowledge that for myself while also having the, the tornado of feeling excited and hopeful, but also not wanting a future disappointment. <laughs> I feel drained today. Today's the day that I should have meal planned and gone grocery shopping to get ingredients for recipes into the week. However, I mean, technically it's my do hard things day, so I should do hard things even if getting groceries is hard, but I also feel like I did enough today. I don't know. We'll just, we'll see. We'll see where the day goes. But I kind of just want to like curl up and be a blob for a little bit. I'm in my blob era and I'm loving it, but I go back to work tomorrow for another five day span, which take some extra love to get myself to head into, you know? I guess with the job fair though, if you're curious like types of questions, it wasn't an actual interview, but it was a, maybe like preliminary, we could kind of call it that. It's mostly just like a chat and then like maybe there'll be a follow-up for an interview. But of course, start off with the tell me about yourself, which I think I did okay with, which I'm glad that I prepared myself for, like kind of just getting my thoughts together about, you know, what I'm up to. Um, we kind of like went through my resume and she had some questions about, you know, previous jobs and like job descriptions and and she was curious, like looking for a reason of like why I'm looking to transition roles. So we kind of talked a little bit about that. One thing, and I know like I'm going to try not to ruminate on it. One thing I wish I did different. She asked, what are your career goals? Like, do you see yourself getting your LCSW? And I don't even remember exactly what I said. What I wish I said though, because it's what I think in my head, but I just like couldn't access this thought like while I was sitting there talking because you know, I was sweaty and nervous and whatever. What I wish I said is that my career goal is to find a position and setting that are exciting to me and that I have a passion towards, but also that I can continue to build on the strengths that I have started growing. And if that position requires an LCSW, then that is a license that I would like to get. That's kind of what I was hoping to say because that's how I feel. But I think I worded it just like making it sound more like flimsy flaky than how I hoped it would. And then whenever she asked, like, do you have any questions for me? Because you know, they always ask at interviews. I used to say no, and then I learned you're not supposed to say no. But sometimes I feel like it's hard to know like what questions you have. So I asked for what a day-to-day -day looks like. So I was like, I know, you know, the job description and the bullet points, but like what does it actually look like in a day? So she was describing that to me. And honestly, a lot of it was very similar to what I do now. So we kind of like pointed that out and talked about it a little bit and talked about how maybe it could be a good transition from my current role into the new role. So I was kind of proud of myself for that. But then I wish I'd asked if they provide clinical supervision for an LCSW whenever she brought up an LCSW. So I feel like the natural thing would have been for me to follow up and ask if they provide clinical supervision but it's really not the biggest things and I'm sure she's probably not thinking about it but I feel like I'm gonna keep thinking about it anyways just wanted to give you the update hope you're doing well today I hope that seeing today even though it's not like it was a big day at all but the fact is that like it was my do hard things day like I did two really hard things but I did them and I'm still here and earlier this morning like whenever I was waking up I was like I just want to be at the point of the day where they're both already done with and I already know like how they went and if they were fine and everything like if I'm still alive and moving and obviously now here I am at this point where yes it was fine I don't know I think if like anxiety is something that you ever struggle with if you ever have like a moment like the one that I'm in now where it's like, okay, I did the thing that I was anxious for and now I'm okay. I'm trying to like bottle up this feeling of, you know, time's never stopped moving before. Like you're going to do and get through whatever thing it is that you're dreading. You can do hard things. I think that's an affirmation that we tend to tell kids a lot, but then it's not an affirmation that always like makes its way into adult vernacular, but just telling yourself like, I can do hard things. And I hope you heard it when I said it too, like I can be nervous and do hard things. Like it's not like feeling the anxiety or feeling the nerves isn't a sign of me being bad. It's just a sign that, you know, I cared about what I was heading into and I was hoping to do well. Like it's a sign of excitement and hope. If I wasn't anxious at all leading up to it, then I might not have like cared as much, just like me personally. So you can do hard things. You can be nervous and do hard things. You can barely believe in yourself and still do the hard things. <laughs> I don't know what all was in this vlog. I feel like it started forever ago. I don't even remember which days we encompassed. Did we start Monday? No, I don't know, you know. But I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for taking a couple little minutes out of your day to spend with me, really appreciate it. Definitely subscribe before you go. If you made it to this point of the video, put the little emoji that's like the talking, the, the head that talks. You know the one? I'll put it right here. Put that in the comments so that I know you made it to the end of the video. And why it's that emoji is that it's representing you telling yourself you can do hard things too. <laughs> it's the affirmations emoji, I've decided. Have a great week. Take care of yourself. I'll see you next time.